Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Las Vegas Aviators and the Reno Aces. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robinson is right there, one down. So striding in, Robert Poisson. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. 67 degrees our game time temperature. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Stepping into the box, Seth Brown. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Matheson will put this one away, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Christian Robinson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball, one and two now. Here it comes. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. At the plate, Seth accepted. Beer. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Beer. Down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Down third. The right field. John. So now to the plate, John Jay. There's a well hit ball out to right center field. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Batting four. The first baseman, Kevin. Into the box, Kevin Cohn. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Hard hit ball to second. Barreto's got it. And there's out number two. Stepping into the box, Wyatt Matheson trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. He set the payoff pitch. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. Digging into the batter's box next is John Hicks. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Into the corner and slicing foul. The payoff pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Trace Lair. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 3-1. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Digging in, Greg Dykeman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-2.
good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. The third base, number five. At the plate now, Jonah Bride. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Now at the plate, Tyler Ramirez. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. This is line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. The center fielder, Luis Barrera. To the plate now, Luis Barrera. Hot shot on the ground is short. Off-balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Andy Young batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. A 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Got to get in now, Don Marolio. Fastball just inside. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Two two one more time on the ground to the left side to second for one on to first and they turn the double play. So coming to the plate Gally Cribs as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Two one pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Fastball is outside. It's full now three and two. Christian Robinson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Just the second inning but already thirty seven pitches to this point. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. At the play, Colin Thoreau. He'll start out the proceedings against Mike Leak as we get the inning underway. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. On the ground to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The Digging in for his second at bat, Franklin Barreto. Franklin Barreto. One out, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Jay has a read on it. Two down. Riding in once again, Robert Poisson. He looked to bounce Robert back after striking Poisson. out his last time up. The three and one pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. Stepping up to the plate, Seth Brown. He flew out in his last at bat. He's running. Pitch inside the throw. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. 
Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Stepping up now, Christian Robinson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1-2. He's at the knees and called strike three. Into the box, Seth Beer. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Beer. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Well, when it left its back, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Into the box now. John Jay. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Ramirez comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kevin Crone. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 1 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Fly ball out to right field. Dykeman is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the DH, Trace Lair. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Digging now in now, Greg Dykeman. Right he reached on a single Greg. in his first try. Now here's the pitch. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Fielded cleanly, and very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now with the plate, Jonah Bryant. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Bases are empty here with two men out. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Still even at two and two. Again, another foul ball. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put away stuff. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Beer will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Wyatt Matheson reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Two balls and a strike to count. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will land out there just foul. Here now the 2-2. Popped him up. Thoreau shading to his right. Makes the play one away. Striding forward now is the D.H. John Hicks. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here now the 2-2. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping in, Andy Young. A base hit in his first trip. The 1-2. Still a ball and two strikes. Here he comes again, one-two. And 
this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Tyler Ramirez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Standing in, Luis Barrera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. So digging in now, Colin Thoreau. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first, but this will land untouched. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Bottom of the inning now, and next to hit is the catcher, Don Marolio. 1-1. One, one. In the air to center. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So stepping in, Galley Cribs. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Christian Robinson. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Now here it comes. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. The batter, the left field. Now a throw over to first and the runner back. And another throw over. And he'll get back in safely. Standing in now, Seth Beer. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Guide in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and the exciting middle infielder Franklin Barreto bats next. The 3 1. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the six. Now in the box, Robert Poisson. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Now batter, the first baseman, Beth Brown. Into the box, Seth Brown. Ball strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck, two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. 
Trying to send him packing for the second time. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. The next 3-2. Line toward right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. Now that the designated hitter, Ray Lair. Stepping in now, Trace Lair down the first baseline. Scooped up to second for one. On to first, the double play. So striding in, Greg Dykeman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Hit to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Jamie Schultz enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 58. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the left-handed hitting John Jay. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Dykeman is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kevin Crone. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. At the plate, Wyatt Matheson, his last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Here's another one, too. That's a ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And this is hit in the air over toward the left field line. Ramirez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Jonah Bride. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Line drive to center field. Robinson is there, and he has it for the first down. Settling in now, now Tyler Ramirez. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Junior Guerra will come on now as he'll now be appearing in his 45th game this year. At the plate now, Luis Barrera. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 now. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2-2. So a full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not... 
Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Long throw to third. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. In now, Colin Thoreau. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, now and it remains second and third, pitch. but with two Quite away one. now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and striding forward the designated hitter, John Hicks. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And it's fouled away. The next one-two pitch. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Now at the plate, Andy Young. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count, three and two. There's nope. ball four. Ball four. So striding forward now, Don Marolio. 0 for 2 on his line this far. We're in the seventh Don inning Marolio. now. The pitcher's duel, 2-1 to one our score. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Lifted in the air to center. Barrera is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box now, Gally Cribs. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Uh, 3 1. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats a foul ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled off. He'll try it again, three and two. A swing and a miss for the third strike as he went after what would have been ball four. Instead, the inning is over. Robbie Scott has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping up as the shortstop, Robert Poisson. A one one. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll be a base hit. So, very quickly here, the potential tying run is aboard to start the eighth. Now, back the first base. Yeah. At the plate, Seth Brown. Very high, two and one. Scott has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. And he fouls this one off. And he 
missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Now the one and one pitch. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And that misses two and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Two, two, one more time. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? One there. On to first, and they get them both. Now at the plate, Greg Dykeman. He was a ground out victim last time up. The one, one. Flared to the right side. That'll do the job. It's in there. A base hit. In comes the runner from third, and we are tied here in the eighth. The third base, number five, Jonah Bride. So now to the plate, Jonah Bride. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Tyler Ramirez would be next. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Jeremy Beasley enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Tyler Ramirez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robinson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. T.J. McFarland goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder, Christian Robinson. And now pitch on the way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Round first, he's digging for second. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Plate now, Seth Beer in there and it's even now two and two swing and a chopper to the left side he's got it and that's the first down in now is John Jay he's working on a one for three thus far And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Ian Gardet takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Into the box, Kevin Crone. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or you just pitch around there? And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now the 2-1. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. On to first. Not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Digging in, John Hicks. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. 
Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. I tried to jerk that one, and it's two and two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Dykeman is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. set for the start of the inning and digging in is the outfielder Luis Barrera from the windup the 1 1 pitch that's lifted the other way out to left beer is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down. Ready for another chance? Colin Thoreau. Colin Thoreau. Popped him up. Matheson in foul ground. Oh, he brought it back. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Franklin Barreto. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to run. And he holds up on this one, but it's a cold strike three. And with that, the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Reno came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Jeremy Beasley wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final run score for our ball game. For the victorious Aces, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left six men on base.